In April, two new construction phases began at once on the site where the Savalmash Design and Technological Bureau is being built. On the 1st of April, concrete work started on the ground floor of the warehouse part of the building. The builders warmed up the ground and the metal constructions, and after reaching the optimum temperature, they began pouring the concrete foundation fragments and insulated the areas where the floor adjoins the walls. In April, the builders completed the concrete foundation in the entire warehouse part of the building on the ground floor. On April the 12th, work on the external utilities started, groundwork started, including the removal of the temporary road slabs on the left side of the building. In addition, pipes and reinforced concrete structures were delivered to the construction site. Also throughout the month, the builders mounted the exterior wall casing, installed windows, did roof work, fireproofed the metal constructions inside the building, mounted interim partitions on the first and second floors, and worked in many other areas. The building of the Design and Technological Bureau is beginning to look more and more complete, not only on the outside, but also on the inside. The Internet Resources of the Special Economic Zone Technopolis Moscow published a photo report from the construction site of Sovelmash. It tells about the construction of the Design and Technological Bureau, the capabilities of the future enterprise, and shares fresh photos of the construction site. The post especially highlights the self-sufficiency of the future bureau and its readiness for import substitution. Following this, the websites of the Moscow's mayor office and Technopolis Moscow publish articles about motors with Slavyanka combined windings for household appliances and tools. The articles point out the improved energy efficiency, power, reliability, reduced noise and vibration in comparison to traditional electric motors. In addition, the articles describe the construction of the Savalmash Design and Technological Bureau, which will develop innovative motors. China has launched a new golf car model with a solar panel and a motor with combined windings. This was announced by Savalmash partner and head of ASPP Weihai, Viktor Aristov. The model features reinforced suspension and larger wheels measuring 10, 12 and 14 inches. The golf car is designed for off-road driving. The energy-efficient motor DA100SL allows the vehicle to travel on solar power without recharging from the network. Another development by ASPP Weihai, the Lojo P300 electric car, will soon receive European certification and travel to Spain. In addition, Viktor Arasov's company has developed a new motor with combined windings based on the DA95S motor. According to Viktor Arasov, the plant where the new motors will be produced compares them with their magnetic counterparts. The Slavyanka motor is superior to the magnetic one both in efficiency, power and speed, and is 50% cheaper in terms of price. Solar Group has announced the opening of a national representative office in Colombia. A conference marking the occasion will take place in the city of Yopal on the 14th of May. The participants of the event will receive comprehensive information about the doing of Modis project from Solar Group top managers Pavel Shatsky and Pavel Filipov. Andrei Lobov of Steen, a national partner in Colombia, Elena Lozada, will be speakers as well. In addition, participants of the event will see live the DA90S motor with combined windings and learn about special offers which will allow them to invest profitably. Follow the development of Duyunov Motors project with us and share the news with your friends and colleagues.